Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Certain rifle rounds can be very popular and then they sort of fade off and then there are others that have stood the test of time. This one is still around. It was once extremely popular. Nobody talks about it anymore. It is a round that was used in the World Wars. Even before that, it was produced in the 1800s, like 1891, 181 grain bullet, and the firearms were cheap. Military surplus, they were like $69, and some of the, the larger ones that had a, a hex barrel and so forth was a little bit more. But the Mosin Nagant was very inexpensive, and this is the round I am talking about right there. 7.62 by 54R. Now, one of the reasons why it was so popular is because the Mosin itself was interchangeable. And, and they would do that on the battlefield. They, they would have a, a part that was damaged. They could just pull it out and switch it up with another one. Now, this is a Mosin with a Monte Carlo stock. Primarily, they are wood stocks, a little bit beat up. When you would purchase them, they would be just caked with cosmoline, and you had to take a couple hours to clean it all off, and including the internal parts. They use that. They put them in, in cases, and they were there for years and years, but they would put them on the shelf or in the back of the gun store for $69, $70, $79, and people would eat them up. And better yet, the ammo itself was cheap very cheap i'm going to show you that but this here's a franken rifle and that's one of the things you could do with the mosin is switch it all out whether it is american made winchester or russian or finnish and a couple others out there the parts were interchangeable a five round internal magazine bolt action rifle these were made for shooting at people a thousand yards away and it is extremely a powerful round, 181 grains. Now the 7.62 by 54R used to be inexpensive. And I would pick this, I'm gonna show you right now. This is what they call a spam can. All right, there it is. And it, it has 440 rounds. Now, I don't know if that'll pick up, but I will tell you this costed one hundred and nineteen dollars for 440 rounds can you imagine that you can't find anything for 440 rounds for 119 dollars these days let alone a huge 181 grain bullet like this now this is a corrosive round corrosive sounds bad it's gonna ruin my barrel well you you have to clean your barrel each time you fire these depending on the round count but it'll last forever this sealed up in this spam can will last forever. It comes with a little wrench. You would, you know, pry off the top and it is loaded with these Russian rounds. 7.62 by 54 are, it used to be so popular. People loved Mosin Nagant. We still love bolt action rifles, but the, the Mosin had a special place in many people's hearts. At one point I owned six or seven. I, I thought I wanted to be a collector of Mosins many years ago, and then I realized that the amount of energy and time and education that would be required would be was more than I could handle at that time. I was like, I like them. I, I not, I'm not sure I'm in love with them, but I've always had a Mosin, primarily because it was cheap, the ammo was cheap, and it was so much fun. And people say, oh, that thing kicks like a mule. Well, it kind of does, but it's also, I, I don't think it's too bad, but I don't think I'm very recoil sensitive. Some people are. If you are, you won't like it. But this thing is an extremely powerful round. It'll take a, a standard patio block and then punch it into sand is what it'll do. It's it's very, very strong round. You feel it when you shoot it, but it was cheap and people loved it. Now, now if you go to buy 762 by 54R, you're looking at 300 bucks perhaps for a 500 round case. Hard to find the spam cans here, okay? These are paper wrapped, stapled together, kind of cheaply made, but they worked. And it is a rimmed cartridge. 
and you don't see many rimmed cartridges. They actually had these four machine guns at a time, and, and it was one of the few rimmed cartridge rounds that would actually uh, eject pretty consistently from a machine gun. You've seen these in, in certain Vepper mo models that are so cool. You know, I still love the round. I don't shoot it anymore. It's no longer a popular round from what I can tell because the ammo has skyrocketed, the price of the firearms, the rifles have skyrocketed, and you know, the, the $69 rifle is now $269, more likely into the 300s, and it was once not a novelty, but something that people chased after. They wanted it. They wanted one or two or three like I did, and then everything went up, and if you want to see a, a round die out, die out, just go ahead and jack up the price to a point where nobody wants to fire it anymore and and then it's going to die out and that's what happened to the 7.62 by 54R from what I could tell. What I want to know is are you a fan? Do you love Mosin Nagants? Do you love the, the bolt action, the five rounds, the, the various stocks you can put on it? Do you like the fact that the parts are interchangeable with each other and that the round is so powerful that it could take down any game in the United States. Like any, any, not even close. <laughs> you know, they actually have the sniper rifles, which are uh, loaded with a an optic on there, very minimal powered optic. It was suiting for the time back in the, the early 1900s and, and so forth, but it was popular. It no longer is popular. Nobody talks about it. I still want to talk about it. That's why I'm making this video. I want to bring up this conversation and see what you guys think. Do you still love the Mosin? Do you have a Mosin? Do you cherish it? Or did you let it go because you said, I'm not paying that much for a once very inexpensive ammo? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.